launches Brett Rogers. Alistair Obreem with his 28th win inside the first round. The champ is here. Two and a half years after becoming Strike Force heavyweight champion, Alistair Overeem returns to the promotion and successfully defends the title in emphatic fashion. The prediction was accurate, Frank. Yeah, the champ is here. He has made his statement. And I never thought I would see this happen. He literally tossed Brett Rogers like he was a rag doll. What? <laughs> Powerhouse, the demolition man has destroyed Brett Rogers and doing it in just mean, vicious fashion, not worrying about all that much technique, basic ground and pound, standing above him, delivering massive blows, and then holding position and controlling the big man. And what he was doing was setting up bam, those big knees. Short elbows, forearms. He was slowly tiring Brett Rogers out. And the moment he landed one shot and he smelt it, he was on him. Brett Rogers turtled up. He turned over to try to avoid those punches. Big John is right on him. But he smells it. Over him smells champion. Stump pot all around, one of his favorite Dutch dishes. He will be celebrating tonight, Alistair Overeem. All right, let's make it official now with Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time. Three minutes, 40 seconds in round number one. A referee in charge, Big John McCarthy, stops the contest due to strikes. He is the winner by way of knockout. He is still the Strike Force World Heavyweight Champion, the Demolition Man, Alistair Overeem. But this is what the ref saw. This is why he stopped it when he did. Alistair on him, finishing. Those shots are glancing, but every third one is touching him. Big John stops the action. Let's take a look at the Compu Strike statistics for this one-sided beatdown. Give it all the over. He landed more strikes. He landed all the leg kicks. And on the ground strikes, he beat up poor Rogers. Unbelievable. 69 strikes on the ground to none from Rogers. And standing by with the champion, our own champion, Gus Johnson. All right, thank you very much as Alistair Overeem the Strike Force World Champion uh, congratulates Brett Rogers on a good fight, but champ, it had been a while since you had fought here in Strike Force here in the United States, but uh, you showed America that you are still in top form. You know, it's been a while, but I'm back. I'm the champion of Strike Force, and I ain't going nowhere. I'm here to stay. How about the fight tonight with Brett Rogers? You said that you'd do what you needed to do to win. You predicted a first round knockout. You said that uh, you would either knock him out standing up or you would take it to the ground and end it. And that's what happened this evening. You know, I was in the best shape of my life. And uh, I think this fight proved it. I wanted to fight, finish him, finish the fight like I always do in all my fights. I'm happy and I proved myself right again. So, with that in mind, you come back, you defend your title. What's on the horizon for you? Who are you looking at for your next fight? Fedor Emelianenko. His management declined to, to him to fight me tonight. Respect for Brett, because he stuck up, stood up and he wanted to fight me like a man. I think now it's Fedor's time. Strong words from champion Alistair Overeem. Congratulations on a wonderful performance as you come back and you make quick work of Brett Rogers. Thank you to all the fans in St. Louis. See you next time.
the champion, Alistair Overeem. We thank him with his first round knockout of Brett Rogers. Now we will have more and come back to St. Louis uh, here on the Strike Force show. But first of all, let's take a look at Inside NASCAR. Good luck, guys. The sound, the fury, a contest for the ultimate glory. We're talking about right there, yeah. Now get the inside track on the drivers, help me out here. Thank you. the strategies, for the middle, for the and the race for the championship with Chris Myers, Randy Pemberton, Brad Doherty, and Michael Waltrip. All right, buddy. Three white checkers. Experience America's number one spectator sport like never before. Be right to pitch. Push to the clutch. Inside NASCAR. Every Wednesday at 10, only on Showtime. Let's close this. All right, Alistair Overeem. He's called out Fyodor Emelianenko. Of course, Fedor has a date with Fabrizio Verdum, June 26. Interestingly enough, it was Fabrizio Verdum who has defeated Alistair Overeem in the past in pride. So Fabrizio gets Fedor first, but the biggest money fight in Strike Force history has to be Overeem versus Fedor. We hope it happens one day soon.